the activity that we will show to you is the step-by-step -step procedures of a messenger wire installation. A fiber of the cable abbreviated as FOC that does not figure it can support itself. Using a messenger wire, it will secure the FOC. Tension will be applied on the messenger wire and not on the FOC. As compared to the figure 8 FOC, the FOC that was attached to a messenger wire is more durable with high tensile strength and long lifetime. Before starting, we need to prepare the following tools and materials. Rollers. The improvised roller will serve as temporary hangers to lay the messenger wire and to minimize friction when pulling off the messenger wire. It's made of steel wire and flexible PVC conduit, one of inch in diameter. This will be used to hang temporarily the messenger wire on the existing cable or holes. Guide grip. The guide grip will be used on holding the ends of the messenger wire. It will be fastened on a pole. Guide wire cutter. This cutter is used to terminate the messenger wire based on the desired. Ratchet puller. The ratchet puller is used for tensioning the messenger wire. The specification of the ratchet depends on what weight or load can it take. For example, 1.5 tons. Before installation, make sure that the poles where the messenger wire will be attached are already best. All clamps, accessories, and hardware must already be installed on the pole. The suspension straight or curved clamps are the pole hardware that securely holds the messenger wire on the pole. Prepare the rollers. Use it to hang the messenger wire temporarily. It will avoid the messenger wire sag along the road. Tie the rollers on the existing telco cables. The rollers will be removed after tensioning the messenger wire. Start laying the messenger wire. Make sure to clear the road of the wire and obstructions. This is the pole location to where the messenger wire plane starts. Fix one end of the messenger wire. Tie the end of the messenger wire guide grip. Fasten the guide grip onto the pole clamp. Cut the excess wire using the tie wire cut. Secure and tighten up the guide grip using pliers. On the adjacent pole, transfer the temporary lead messenger wire to the suspension clamps. The suspension clamps should be loose so that the wire can move and tension. After tensioning, the suspension clamp will be tightened. After laying the messenger wire on the charge end points, it is now ready to be tensioned. Secure the ratchet puller on the pole. Attach a guide grip to the messenger wire with edge. This is to where the hook of the ratchet will be placed. Tension the messenger wire. Start cranking the lever handle backwards and forward to begin ratchet. Every time the lever handle is moved towards the anchor point, the load is pulled. Keep moving the lever handle back and forth until the load is pulled to the desired before releasing the tension wire, place another guide grip on the messenger wire and fasten it to the pole clamp. This is to secure the tension messenger wire. Release the tension wire. Tighten up the guide grip that was fastened on the pole clamp.
remove the guy grip being used for pulling. The side supervisor must be liable on the proper of the wire and follow properly the engineering design. You should avoid obstructions in the wire and avoid electrical wire on the machine. Now the task is complete. Thanks for watching.